Hey everybody, this is Mitch Joel for Men on the Go. I'm also from Six Pixels of Separation. I guess Chris Brogan threatened enough and I agreed to shoot a small video for Man on the Go. I'm actually gonna follow up on something Chris just recently blogged about right here about first time you hop into a hotel. I've got some additional tips and some other great stuff that I think is really useful. I do a ton of traveling, uh, about 75,000, no, sorry, I'm close to 100,000 uh, air miles just since January, so uh, I'm on in planes, on planes, in planes, under planes, uh, hotels all the time. Let's talk a little bit about hotels and checking in. The first thing I do recommend is sign up for every single loyalty program. This is something I learned actually from Shell Holtz over at Four Immediate Release. I was never one of those guys that liked to sign up and do all that stuff, but you know, you get a lot of upgrades, you do collect points. So one, it's great for getting those upgrades when you're at the hotel. The other thing it's really, really good for is, you know, if you want to do a family vacation, you're collecting these points probably for business. Uh, why not have a couple nights free for the family where you can enjoy the pool and stuff like that. So make sure you definitely ch check in, um, join the loyalty programs, do what it takes two seconds for these. A lot of times you just hand them your business card and say, sign me up and they'll email you your number. So it's really sort of not all that hard and they don't really annoy you with emails. You can unsubscribe and do all that good stuff. So the next thing I do recommend is ask for a king size bed. Usually king size beds are associated with better rooms. Uh, they might look at you a little bit funny, but just say, please, if there's anything you can do, usually it is a nicer room. So try and get the king size over the standard double or two queens in a room, always recommend that. Ask for a quiet area. This is really, really important. I've been in hotels that were under construction on certain floors. I've been in rooms that were right next to the ice machine, right next to temporary fitness centers. Not fun either. Elevators can be quite noisy, not just the motion of it, but the dinging of it. So really do make sure to ask to be not near an elevator, not near any ice machines. I just tell them a quiet area that usually works. Also, uh, you know, you could be on the second floor where suddenly you're literally right up there with, um, you know, the party banquet and stuff like that. Now, that being said, another big recommendation, this is something I picked up from Seth Godin that I love, is ask for a low level floor. Although this has never happened to me, I've heard horror stories of people on the 27th floor and the power is out and you get to the hotel and you've got to walk up 27 flights of stairs or down or a fire alarm goes. Uh, countless, countless issues. There's a lot of people in hotels that can be get real busy. People do stupid things like smoke in bathrooms and set off alarms and so ask for a low level floor. Now the other trick is ask for an upgrade. I know people don't like to ask. I'm super uncomfortable with this but I have been in scenarios where person has asked me, hey, is this your first time here? I say, it is. And then they say to me, oh, it's too bad you're in a standard room. And I'm like, come on, there's got to be something you can do, especially, by the way, tying into the fact that if you're a loyalty member, that works really well too. So ask for the upgrade. Don't be shy. If they have an empty room and they see that you travel a lot or you're part of their loyalty pro program, more often than not, they might be inclined to help you out. Now, once you get into a room, a couple of things I like to do right away. First thing is I'm a total travel nerd and tech guy. So I'm looking for the outlets, the power outlets. I am usually very dissatisfied or upset when there's not a very easily accessible power outlet near the bed on either side. The primary reason for this is because I actually use my iPhone as my alarm clock, which I'll get to in a bit. And sometimes I just like to have my laptop charging near my bed if I can't sleep or I want to write in bed. So check for plugs. Plugs are really important. A lot of the older hotels have only one or two. They're buried behind the bed, impossible to reach. So that leads into my next tip, which is don't be afraid to ask for an extension cord. I've done this in multiple hotels. It is really, really handy uh, and it works great. I know Tris, Chris, I know Tris. Tris, have you changed? Isn't that woman on the go? Uh, Chris, I know you, you're a big fan of the monster um, uh, power cord thing. I have a couple of those. I don't know why. Sometimes a couple of the plugs don't work. I've had troubles with the USB on them. So I, very sort of hit and miss for me. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I like to sort of rely on that as well. You know, always ensure that the Wi-Fi is stable. If not, ask for a fixed line. I find more often than not in the evenings when things get busy, the Wi-Fi just starts you know, struggling to maintain all the people on it. And so I do like to have the, the opportunity to switch to um, wired as well. The challenge with that is when I'm in bed, sometimes I do like to listen to Sirius Radio through my iPhone app. So I do like Wi-Fi because you don't want to be sucking bandwidth charges off of that and data charges off of that too. Um, 
you know, if you're going to work in your room, like a lot of us do, ensure that the chair is of good quality. A lot of times they, the rooms are fancy and so the chairs aren't all that great. Don't be afraid to ask the banquet hall if they could send you up a more workable chair. They're usually more, ha more than happy to make that happen for you. Uh, if they sort of don't know what you mean, again, ask if the business center or in the banquet, if they can send up a more stable chair that you can just sit on comfortably to get your work done. Uh, you know, just sort of in terms of, of, of setting up a nice style, open up the curtains, uh, undraw them, uh, let the sun in. A lot of us sit and these real sort of, you know, not dusty, but you know, there's carpets and bedding and stuff. And it's just sort of stuffy. So open up those, those curtains. If you can open up the window, which you usually can, uh, bonus for sure. Uh, you know, Chris was talking about unpacking in his video. I don't recommend unpacking at all. Again, in case of emergency, you want to be able to grab your bag and go. You don't want to be that person on the six o'clock news standing outside in just your boxer shorts because you couldn't grab your stuff. Uh, so what I do to circumvent that is I use those Eagle Creek Creek packet folder systems. I will demo them in a future video. I'll show you actually how I pack for efficiency. But this way, things are really accessible in the bag. You can just throw it in. Nothing gets wrinkled. Everything is pretty much good to go. So Eagle Creek packet folder systems to circumvent the uh, whole unpacking and having your stuff all over the place. Um, bring an alarm clock, a travel alarm clock. I actually do recommend using the iPhone. It has a great alarm clock for it. The reason I do this is I've had countless wake-up calls not happen. I've had power outages and the actual alarm clock that I set in the room didn't work. I've had the alarm clock just not be functioning, daylight savings times, whatever, an hour's messed up or screws up, terrible, terrible, terrible. So those are just a couple of, of tips and tricks for man on the go, my first uh, crazy video. I can't believe I'm doing this, Chris. Only for you would I create video. I just think I'm not good at it, but I guess I'll know by the comments as to whether I am or not. So we'll see if, uh, how this works out going forward. You can find me always at www.twistimage.com forward slash blog. My blog, podcast, and book are called Six Pixels of Separation. And I hope to do another one of these soon. It's a lot of fun. I love doing this stuff. And I, as you can tell, I'm pretty nerdy about it too.